Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey, hello guys. Are you doing there? I hope everything is always doing well for you and your family. Welcome to my YouTube channel with me, Mr. Dika in Pono Creative. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to start the conversation with a native speaker. Let's get into it. If you want to practice your English or if you want to have a conversation with a native speaker of foreigners, you can start with Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Instead of saying how are you to start a conversation with the foreigners, you can also say Hey, you doing? Hey, you doing? Hey, you doing? There are two ways to pronounce doing in English. You can say doing with ing sound or doing with n sound. Doing and doing. For example, hey you doing, hey you doing, hey you doing with ing sound. While another one is hey you doing, hey you doing, hey you doing, hey you doing with n sound. And you know the native tends to use n sound for their conversation, so they will say. They will tend to say, Hey, you doing? Hey, you doing? More natural and much more native. Another way to say, How are you? are, Hey, you going? Hey, you going? Hey, you going? Okay, uh, this phrase is very common to use by the Aussies, you know, the Australian people. It's very common to hear them. If they want to say, How are you? they will say, Hey, you going? How are you going? And another phrase is How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? And the last one is How are things? How are things? How are things? Okay, uh, we have similar case here for uh, the word doing become doing and in this case the word going become going. Okay, going become going. How are you going? Or how is it going? Those five phrases have similar meaning, so you don't need to be confused if you got somebody saying one of these phrases. They are saying, okay? Well, let's get to the phrases how to answer those questions. But before I give you some phrases that you may use to answer those questions, let's talk about how the, the English learners answer when their teachers say, how are you in the classroom? All the students always answer it by saying, We are fine, thank you, and you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? We are fine, thank you, and you? <laughs> you know, I did it three years. What? Three years when I was in junior high school, and three years when I was in high school. Six years, guys. Come on, you can. What I feel now. Oh. This is the point. Uh, you need to know that a native speaker never use this answer or this phrase if somebody asks them, "How are you?" I'm fine, thank you. We are fine, thank you. And you, six years. And the native speaker never use it for this context to answer this kind of question. Uh, God, you gotta be kidding me. I know you're feeling guys. I do. I really do. Because uh, I got this situation six years. Okay, but now don't ever, ever use this phrase when somebody asks you, how are you? Okay, I will never use this phrase. I won't ever ever use this phrase i promise you you promised me promise me please please promise me well let's get back to our topic how the native speaker answered this question the first one is i'm good this is very most common phrase that the native speaker always use and the native speaker always asks back when somebody asks how are you to them for example hey how are you I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. So if somebody say how are you to you, so you answer it by saying I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? And the next one is I'm very well, thanks. And you? I'm very well, thanks. And you? I'm very well, thanks. And you? 
and the last one is never best never best never best how about you never best how about you never best how about you after this part then you can mention your name for example i'm dika by the way hey i'm mikey after you know the name each other then you say nice to meet you nice to meet you nice to meet you or nice to meet you for example mikey nice to meet you nice to meet you too these are the great way how to start a conversation with a native speaker or with the foreigners very easy and very simple and of course very fun i hope you enjoyed this video a lot and hit the like button in the section below if you like this video and subscribe my channel to get the new english lesson from me mr dk and panda creative i see you next time bye bye for now be like panda creative peace